we have a pretty open pitch process at the show, actually, which, I mean, we really have, there are, you know, our office is kind of, is made of these different departments. So we have the writers, we have the field department, which is full of producers. Mm -hmm. We have um, the studio department, which really is our research team. We have our graphics department, which is excellent. And everybody has a, a, a different type of process, but everybody's feeding into the pitch system all the time. So, um, and we work on Slack. We have like 50 million Slack channels that we employ to great effect. And myself and Melinda Taub, who's the head writer, and uh, Pat King, Alison Camillo, like we have an amazing team of people choosing stories. We pick the stories that interest us. We look at the stories, we go, I look at the I look at all the pitches and I go, oh, this is very interesting. Like it honestly, I'm just constantly going through great pitches and going, we should do this, we should do this. <coughs> Melinda, do you what do you think about this? Yeah, I like this. Like it's it's actually pretty democratic. When you pitch something on the field, sometimes the producers in the field department will be like, What about this? And I go through all those field pitches and go, How does everybody feel about this? Like, Alana, what do you think about this? Miles, what do you think about this? Like it's a it's a pretty open process. Or then I'll go, I think we should do something about this. Can you make a formal pitch? And then somebody will pitch like a kind of an angle or a way that we can get into that. It's a fairly open process. Writers and producers in particular are pitching all the time. Is there anything that you've rejected because you couldn't find humor in the story? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, we're doing a story I don't think I'm blowing anything by saying this. We are doing a story on the foster care system mm -hmm. in the next block of shows, I would say. And that one was tough. The writers wrestled with it for a really long time because the subject matter is dark, but there is, I mean, there's, you're always trying to find, like, there are many ways that you can talk about a broken foster care system or ways in which the system is failing people. But there's also, there's a, there's a fresh, a, you know, there's a fresh approach to it too. And there's a way to encourage people. So we're always looking for, even in a dark story, a way to kind of land the story. Like, is there a place where we can land this mm. that doesn't make you want to die? Like, there's plenty of people who are doing amazing work with foster kids. And I think like, you know, one of the things that we can land on that's very fruitful is, have you ever considered being a foster parent? Like, would you, like, can we bring this story to a pool of people who actually would be amazing at it, who just never thought about it before, who have resources, like, for whom it, it's just hasn't been a consideration, but really when you look at it, you think, well, why hasn't it been a consideration? Could it be? Is there something, is there some way that I can contribute? And usually if there's, if there's a way out of the story where you can leave people not feeling full despair, then you can find your way through a story. There have been a few like that. That one we've been wrestling with for a really long time, and I think that we have cracked it, but it did take a while.